so in the last video we talked about how login would work in any ott platform and we took the example of netflix now in this video we're talking about the next step which is anything what happens at the home page works for example when you go on the home page how is the first screen loaded when the first screen is loaded how will you search a particular thing and when you search what happens so all those things will take care in this video so let's take an example of netflix itself continuing it so uh, the first thing which happens when you go on the home page is your personalized recommendations are loaded so when you make a call to this home page service it will internally make a call to a personalization service now this personalization service has a database which stores data according to your customer id or whatever id you have and according to this your recommendations are loaded now these recommendations uh, how are they populated these are populated on the watch history like whatever things you are watching the click clicks you make on different on different shows titles so this database stores all of your personalization history now uh, this also stores the similarities between the shows you have watched for example you are watching some comedy series for example let's say friends so this personalization service will will actually use a similarity service uh, and this similarity service will have the uh, shows which are similar to the ones which you have watched and this will help to store these recommendations also in this database so whenever you click on this this home page service uses this personalization service and gets the similarity now uh, a good thing about this for example when you click a particular show title and uh, now you again come back to the home page now your personalization would have to be updated so this have to be updated now how is this personalization updated so every time uh, when you click on a particular show will you keep on calling this personalization service again and again so that's not what actually happens uh, netflix for that uses kafka in this any event that you make are pushed for example when you click on a particular show that event is pushed and then this these events are then processed by this personalization service to calculate the similarity and update your recommendations in this database now the next thing we come across is the search part so when you search a particular show title you should be given the search results there is another one more feature like when you start typing the netflix provides you type ahead search what it means that uh, suppose you typed fr so it will show you friends automatically and other titles which are actually matching that or starting with that so how does this happen so first let's talk about how is this search backend supported so for that we have something called as indexer now why do we need an indexer so the search results that you make they are actually dependent on a lot of different things for example a show may have a lot of different episodes and there might be some episodes which you like some which you don't like so that data is kind of stored in this personalization service and then there are some uh, things which are related to the show itself like the creative service which shows that what data is present in a particular uh, country the name of the show the characters in the show the cast of the show and all that data is stored in this database now and then there is a comment service so if there are any comments to a particular video so what are they and they are all stored in the comment service so we need all these data to actually be able to provide search so how do we do that if for example suppose all these database were simply sql databases then a simple thing would be just to do a join between these databases and uh, populate that result but the issue with that is that we cannot store sql databases for all all kind of needs it is possible that personalization is being stored in a no sql database for example can cassandra so joins are not possible and if we have to keep the same database that would limit us that we cannot keep any different database for different types of use cases that we have so for that netflix used graphql so graphql uh, it may sound like it is a database but it is not it is a language which is actually uh, used to show the dependencies between different types of data and also even make api calls so this graphql 
is does not depend on the type of the database so it is possible that this creative service uses a NoSQL database comment service uses a SQL database so using GraphQL it will the indexer will make a call to the comment service and get the data similarly using that it will make a call to the creative service get the data and personalization service and get the data now when all the data is populated the indexer will now use this data and store it into Elasticsearch or index it so why is indexing required in Elasticsearch to provide fast search results? So what is Elasticsearch? Elasticsearch provides ways to search your data uh, in a much faster way because it provides a lot of indexing. Uh, so all the data that you put in it, you can make indexes on different types of fields or maybe all fields that you have in the data. So uh, and perform various queries for example prefix search queries you can create you can create normal exact match queries you can do so elastic search provides these capabilities by indexing the data in a way that you can perform these kind of queries so all the data that that is uh, taken from this is indexed into the elastic search so now oh, whenever you search you query this elastic search for that and now we come come to that type ahead search that we were talking about. So as you type FR, it will do a prefix search on this Elasticsearch database and fetch all the titles using all the information that, you ha that we have gathered in this and it will give us the results. Now the, there can be multiple issues with this that your personalization is changing with time. So in that cases, this index would also have to be updated. There need to be added some new things to this index or maybe a new episode comes, then also this indexer has to do things. So how will that happen? So for this also, we'll use a Kafka. So all the changes which are happening, if suppose someone posts a comment that will be put as an event in this and the indexer jobs when using that event will again query that again query the three services and create the index. Now the point is what data index would be created again? Like we cannot index all the data again. So for that indexer will only update the data to which the change is there. For example, you were watching uh, uh, something like episode one of that so, uh, and suppose that has an ID X. Now what it will do is that indexer will uh, get the event for x it will fetch the data corresponding to x and it will try to find the parent from the data it has got so for example x was some uh, an episode of show so for example suppose this is a friends episode 7 so its parent would be the friend series itself so it knows that it has to make changes to this index and uh, it knows that it, it has to make changes to this index uh, and w which is for this show called friends and uh, so it just brings uh, all the data regarding to regarding this show and then indexes into the elastic search now as you might think that the search is kind of has to be common for a lot of different users uh, so you can kind of remove the dependency of personalization service if you don't want the search to be dependent on a particular user's uh, recommendation so it will be just the same search for same search results for everyone and but if you want you would have to include this personalization also in this indexing part so that's what happens when you go on the home page and search anything on the home page the next thing which we'll talk about is the actual streaming which happens when you click on one title what actually happens and how are you able to see a video